In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to recover your Gmail or Google account when you don't have access to your two-step verification method or code. Once you log into your account using new device, they ask you to enter your two-step verification code. If you don't have this code, they don't allow you to log in back into your Google account. So let's log back into your account without any two-step verification or any other alternative recovery method. I invite you to watch this video to the very end. After that, you can get the clear idea. Finally, you can log back into your hacked Google or Gmail account using this method. Without any further ado, let's jump into the video. To recover your account, you can use any Google application or you can use your default web browser. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do that thing using your mobile browser. If you want to learn more about other methods, I will put all the related video links in the description. So open your mobile browser. It is better if you can use a browser that you used to log into your Google account previously. After that, go to search bar, then you have to type and search this word how to recover your Google account or Gmail. Type and search it, then you have to select the very first search result. Recover your Google account or Gmail. Then you will be redirected to this window. Here you have to ignore the, this help desk option. After that, scroll down, then select this blue color link, recover your Google account or Gmail under forward your password. Tap that blue color link, then you will be redirected to this window. Here you have to enter your email address. If you don't remember your Gmail address, you can tap forgot email. Then they ask you to enter your first name and last name. After entering first name and last name, they will provide you your hackered email address. Then you can enter your Gmail address here. After entering your Gmail address, tap the next button. Now they ask you to enter your password. Some of you does have your password. If you have your password, you can enter it here. After that, they will redirect it to two-step verification window. Then, if you don't have your password, all you have to do, tap try another way in blue color option. If you enter your password or not, they will redirect it to the same two-step verification window. Here, it will show all two-step verification option one after another. As well as I'm going to show you how to log back into an account when you don't have any of these two-step verification codes not receive or don't have problem. There are multiple two-step verification options that you can enable. But unfortunately, if you don't have access to any of these, you will get this error message. So they ask you to select at least one verification method as well as they ask you to select a device before. But let's recover it without any verification method or without any older device. So I will restart my recovery process. Like earlier, they asked me to enter my password. If you have your password, you can enter it here. At the tab, try another way. Here, first they asked me to enter my Google authentication application code. If you have enabled two-step verification using another application like Google or Duo Mobile, they will ask you to enter that code here. If you can't get that code, don't worry. All you have to do, tap try another way in blue color button. Then if you have generated some backup code, they ask you to enter it here. But those backup codes are missing. You have to tap try another way option here. Here they will offer you all possible recovery method. I highly recommend you to select at least one verification method. This is another one. If you have enabled two-step verification using your mobile, they will send a code via SMS. First here, you have to enter your phone number. After confirming your phone number, they will send a verification code. But unfortunately, if you can't access your old SIM card, that SIM card is missing, all you have to do, tap try another way. Then it will show you all possible recovery email addresses. Here, I invite you to select at least one recovery email address. The first one is my hackered email address. The second one is your recovery email address. If you have added an alternative email address, it will list out here. So I invite you to select at least one recovery email address. But if you don't select any of these recovery method, you will get this error message. But if you get this error message, we can fix this error too. All you have to do, watch that error fixing video in the description. Here they ask you to select at least one verification method. 
as well as they provide another option. They ask you to use a device that you used to log into a Google or Gmail account before. So you can use any device that you use previously. It can be desktop, laptop, notebook, whatever the device, use any device that you previously log into a Google account. Here you can go through this recovery process multiple number of times. They don't disable or block your account. So try out again. So you can select at least one verification method. Here I imagine you have to access at least your recovery email address. But in the worst case scenario, you don't have access to any of these. In that situation, you can watch this video title called how to log into a Google account or Gmail account without any verification method or without any verification code. I will put that video link in the description as well as you can click this end screen videos and come on over. Here, I imagine you have access to your recovery email address so you can select any email address that you can get a code like this. I will select this one. Then they will send a recovery email to my email address like this. If you swipe down to the notification bar, you will receive a new email. Here you can see there is a recovery code. You have to copy this code and enter it there or you can remember this code and type down here. Then I will type my code like this or you can go to your email address. You can copy this code and paste it here. After pasting, tap the next button. Then you will receive this kind of message. It says they will review your recovery request within next 48 hours. After that, they will send a recovery link to your recovery email address or recovery phone number. So you have to wait some time. Normally, they will send a login link to your email or phone number within next six hours. After that, you can check your recovery email address. Then you will receive this kind of message. If you open that email or SMS, they will say they have responded to your Google account recovery request as well as they have disabled your two step verification. So you don't need to enter any code to login back into an account. You can use this blue color link. So tap sign in button. After that, you will be redirected to this window. Here it says you have successfully logged into your account as well as they have removed your two step verification recovery method. So now you have to tap secure your account or tap continue. If you tap secure your account, you will get this kind of interface. Here you can see all your major security alerts. Here. If you didn't make any of these changes, you have to increase the security level of your account. If you want to increase the security level of your account, I will upload a complete tutorial on my channel. You can find that video link in the description. Otherwise, this video will be much longer. So tap continue, then you will get this welcome back window. If you want to change your password, you can update to enter your new strong password twice or you can skip this option if you didn't want to change your password. Then you will be logged back into your Google or Gmail account. This is just a one way to remove the two step verification method and recover your account. If you want to learn more about other methods, you can find all the related video links in this video description as well as you can click this and skin videos and come on over. That's it for today's tutorial. See you in the next one. Later.